Alright guys, well, welcome to my very first tutorial ever. Um, I had a little issue with trying to find out the information that I'm about to share with you guys on the internet. Anywhere. So, once I figured it out myself, I figured, hey, I'm just going to share this with the world because I'm sure that I can't be the only idiot with this issue. So, I recently bought a brand new MacBook Pro Retina and... It has a GTX NVIDIA graphics card in it. Now, trying to utilize Adobe After Effects down here for the Creative Cloud specifically, I could not get my CUDA processing enabled. I just couldn't figure out how to do it. I went through the entire application, just couldn't figure out. So, what I did was scour the internet, call Adobe a few times, you know, say some bad words to some people, and finally I just, you know, put puzzle pieces together and this is what I got. Alright, so let's get started. First, first and foremost, download the most up-to-date drivers from NVIDIA for CUDA for your computer. So, here's NVIDIA. It should show up in your system preferences somewhere on this bottom line it'll show up here for most and if that shows up you're golden you already know that you have the ability to enable CUDA now what you have to do is when you open After Effects that shows up and mine no longer shows up because I've done this fix a few times now but there's going to be an error screen over top of this welcome to Adobe After Effects screen what that is going to say is that CUDA isn't, ena isn't enabled on your computer and something along the other lines or to the effect of you need to get a better graphics card if you want to utilize CUDA. Now, if you don't know what CUDA is and you're watching this U YouTube video specifically to figure out what CUDA is, then I will tell you the most simplest way possible that I know. CUDA is a way and is a system within your GPU that takes some of the stress and processing off of your CPU when you are trying to render. Okay, now, no matter what, no matter how small the, you know, project is you're working on, rendering is a bitch on your CPU. It just is. Your processing is go your processing speed's going to go down because your CPU is working hard as hell. Now, with CUDA enabled, CUDA processing is fantastic. You will see your system run cooler, you will see your system run smoother, and you will see everything about your rendering speed up and it's fantastic. Okay, so now with that being said, for the people who didn't know what CUDA is, you go up here, click on After Effects, go to Preferences. If you get the warning screen or the uh, the error screen, still do this. Go to Preferences, go to Previews, and here, right here, it says GPU Information. Now, I purposefully disabled my GPU and deleted it from the file that I'm going to show you guys to find or how to find and edit. So, GPU's grayed out. For me and for you, if you're watching this video, obviously. So, CPU. CPU's enabled right now. There is no CUDA information whatsoever because there is no CPU that supports CUDA, to my knowledge. I could be wrong. I don't know. Google check me. That's fine. I don't care. So, CPU is the only thing able to be enabled right now, so your system is going to take a huge hit when you're trying to render. Now, what you do is exit out of After Effects. I'll open it again later anyway. So, go into Finder and go to Applications is where I put it. Go to wherever you put Adobe After Effects, all right? So, go into the file. Or if you don't have the file and you just simply have the application, right click. All right, go to show package contents, go to the contents folder. Now, the folder you want, the file you want, is this 
ray tracers supported cards txt folder all right this is the file that you want so you're going to click on that now because i have already edited this file i've already duplicated it and made a, a copy of it and saved it all right so for everyone else it's going to say locked here you will not be able to edit this if this txt file is locked so all you're going to do is go up to file duplicate the file and find your exact model of GPU. Now, the way you do that on the Mac is go to About This Mac, go to System Report. I'm running Yosemite, so keep that in mind. It will work through System Report on Mavericks as well because I did this before I updated to Yosemite as well. So, go to System Report and go to Graphics and Displays. When you go there, your other GPU, your primary GPU, will be listed. Now, it already knows it's NVIDIA because Adobe is stupid, but it's not that stupid. So, you're going to copy GeForce GTX 750M, that's mine, but you're going to copy whatever model you have and exit out of that because you don't need any of it anymore. Now, this operates in numerical order. Remember that. If you don't know your numbers, find phone a friend. I don't know. So, you're going to paste this in numerical order without having two GPUs on the same line because your system will probably explode, but it won't explode. That was a joke. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to paste that, and then you're going to change the name of this file to exactly what the name of this file is, all right, without the locked because you will have, again, a word here that's gray and it'll say locked. So, you're going to change this to leave everything else the same, ray tracer, underscore supported, underscore cards, and add dot txt. And guess what? When you click off of that, it's going to say that there's already a card named that and ask if you want to replace it. Guess what? This one, this txt file doesn't have your GPU. This new one has it. So you're definitely going to replace it. Once you replace this file, this will no longer be locked. So no other time in your entire life, as long as you have the same computer and don't do some crazy stuff to it, will you ever have to duplicate this file again and unlock it. So, replace. This will replace this file. Now, because both files are still open, Text edit is losing its mind right now. I do this every time and I don't know why I did this on this tutorial. So, text edit is losing its mind right now. So, all you have to do is, you know, click on something else and force quit text edit. All right, so you're not responding, it's literally losing its mind. So, force quit text ed edit, Ex exit the force quit folder, and just ignore that because you know what happened. You left a replaced folder open while you were replacing it. That's all that happened. So after that's finished, exit out of Finder. You don't need it open anymore. Go to After Effects. After After Effects opens for me. Guess what? You will no longer get this error message that showed up the first time for you. Go to After Effects, Preferences, and Previews again. Go to GPU information, and GPU is now able to be selected if it didn't already do it for you by itself. Because with that error message, 9 times out of 10, Adobe is going to say, oh crap, there's CUDA, and it's going to select it. Now, if you go down to the CUDA information, because you updated those drivers, you will have the ability to use, out of the 2 gigabytes, somewhere between 1 gigabyte and 2 gigabytes of... CUDA processing for rendering. And I'm telling you right now, it is fantastic. CUDA, whatever genius fairy fell out of the sky and produced the code that built the CUDA application, I would like to, you know, I don't know, buy him an ice cream cone. Shit, I don't know. So, enable your GPU, ensure that's enabled, and just okay out of all of this. Now, be creative and you know, I don't know. Whatever your 
minds come up with, link it to my video. I'd like to see what you created and rendered out real quickly with your CUDA rendering or CUDA processing enabled. All right, guys. Well, that is it. That's my entire tutorial. That's all. I hope you liked it. I hope it was simple enough, and I hope I was helpful. Um, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. I, I mean, it'll let me know that people are watching these videos, and I will go through and do this for other programs, other applications, and whatnot. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good one.